Let's look at how this would be put together and how it would need to be given in an emergency if an overdose occurred. Let's look at the ABC of what you should do if an overdose actually occurs. Uh, what have you done? Oh my God, I need to call an ambulance. Hello, I need an ambulance. It's four winds a walk. I think my friend has taken too much heroin. I think she has an overdose. Please come quick. Nikki has found that her friend is unconscious and has probably taken an overdose, and she does the first step, A. She calls an ambulance, she gives the address, and she also tells the ambulance in advance that she thinks that it's a heroin overdose and that it's an emergency. Okay, I have to check your breathing first. I'm going to put your head back. B, the breathing. Nikki is checking that she can feel where her friend is breathing. She places her ear over the friend's mouth and looks along the chest and abdomen for about 10 seconds. Look, listen and feel. If she can't detect any breathing, she needs to check that her mouth is clear and that there's nothing obstructing her mouth. Opening the airway, taking the head and tilting and lifting yes, the chin. I need to put in the recovery position. C is for the recovery position. Take the nearest hand and spread it out across the floor. Then reach across and take the other hand and bring it over to protect the face. Then grab the far knee, lift it up and use it to roll the person over onto their side. Again, tip the chin up to keep the airway free and spread their feet out. Nikki knows that her friend has naloxone on her, so looks for the wallet with the naloxone in it. She finds the wallet and opens it up, and opens up the pouch with the naloxone syringe. She now needs to assemble the naloxone syringe. First, she has to screw in the plunger rod. And then she has to take off the rubber cap from the end of the syringe, ready to put the needle on the end of the syringe. She now opens the needle pack and puts it on the end of the syringe. You need to be careful at this stage because your hands might be shaking. Gently pull off the needle cover and checks that the needle is firmly on the syringe. Put the needle straight in to give 0.8 mils of the naloxone. So that's just under half of what's in the syringe. Put the syringe and needle away safely, because you need to remember to give it to the ambulance staff when they arrive so that they can dispose of it safely. The person should come round over the next couple of minutes. So you need to look after them and also to remind them that the naloxone will wear off within less than an hour. And finally, please tell us about the overdose by filling out the reply card that's in the wallet. If you think you might be interested, you should ask the worker who's on the project for a one-to-one -one, uh, meeting. It doesn't mean you have to be involved in the NLive study, but it, it means that you're interested and you'd like to know more.